Today, I want to talk to you about the surprising mercy of God, reading to you from 2 Kings chapter 14, verses 25 through 27, where we read this. He restored the territory of Israel from the entrance of Hamath to the sea of the Arabah, according to the word of the Lord God of Israel, which he had spoken through his servant Jonah, the son of Amati, the prophet who was from Gath-Hefer. For the Lord saw that the affliction of Israel was very bitter, and whether bond or free, there was no helper for Israel. And the Lord did not say that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash. These verses from 2 Kings chapter 14 tell us about the reign of Jeroboam, king of Israel. 2 Kings 14.24 tells us that he did evil in the sight of the Lord. Yet, we can see three surprising things through what God did in the days of Jeroboam. First, we see a surprising prophet. We read, According to the word of the Lord God of Israel, which had spoken through his servant Jonah, the son of Amatai, the prophet. This is almost certainly the same Jonah who was famous for his missionary trip to Nineveh. Apparently, he also had a ministry among his own people, not only in Nineveh, as is recorded in the book of Jonah. It's good to remember that God did much more through these ancient prophets than we commonly think or is recorded in his word. Second, we see the surprising faithfulness of God. It says, the Lord did not say that he would blot out the name of Israel. Even though Israel had been unfaithful to God many times, God would not stop being faithful to them. He worked through even an ungodly man like Jeroboam to rescue them, even when there was no helper for Israel, as our verses tell us. Finally, we see the surprising mercy of God. It says, He restored the territory of Israel, for the Lord saw that the affliction of Israel was very bitter. Out of great mercy, God showed kindness to a disobedient Israel, even when it was ruled by an evil king. This merciful restoration came in many ways. Uh, Israel regained lost territory, and they also enjoyed a great season of prosperity. Now, this is confirmed by archaeology. Digs of ancient Israelite cities show us how in Jeroboam's reign, they built bigger houses with more luxuries. When Israel deserved destruction and deprivation, God gave surprising mercy through the wicked king Jeroboam. But the book of Amos shows that Israel did not handle this prosperity well. And the wickedness they showed under the prosperity of Jeroboam actually built up more judgment against them. Friends, God has shown us great mercy, surprising mercy, in Jesus Christ. He's forgiven our sins and restored us to relationship with him because of what Jesus did on the cross. God has restored territory taken from you by the world, by the flesh and the devil, and God has prospered you in many ways. How will you respond to his surprising mercy? In the days of Jeroboam II, they didn't respond very well and actually built up more judgment against them. So please remember, when God shows you and has shown you surprising mercy, remember to submit to God and honor him when he shows such great mercy to you.